So this is going to be a reading for my Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to be looking at your overall life's journey and where you're headed. I wanted to do an overview to kind of see where you guys are at and give you guys um, a wider view in terms of your situation. Sometimes we're confused and conflicted because we don't have a full understanding of our situation. So hopefully this reading is helpful today. So keep in mind, this is general. Only take what applies, let the rest fly. Any information for a personal reading will be listed below. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss a beat and let's get straight into it. So the first card is going to represent who slash where are you now now in your journey excuse me so we have the two of cups here okay so for a lot of you you're in a point in your journey where like you don't want to depend on like love or a relationship to kind of make you happy anymore you may have been like allowing yourself to be in that space for too long of like, oh, I need someone, I need someone, I need someone, or in a toxic relationship for way too long because of the fact that you felt like you needed that person um, so bad. But now at this point, you're starting to realize that for some of you now, like you, you need to better support yourself before you can better support a relationship especially when it comes to like your emotional well-being and also having like a personal balance of like masculine and feminine energy. And when I say that, some of you may be giving off more energies of the, how do I say this? You may be giving off more of an imbalance in energies, I should say that, when it comes to your approach to things, regardless of what gender you are. Hmm. But yeah, this is you disconnecting from, from people who have really kept you stuck and stagnant romantically, but also like realizing what's been throwing you off for so long. And you guys are going through the process of learning some real hard life lessons or some interesting life lessons, I should say, not necessarily hard because you guys will overcome any challenge that comes up. This is just you experiencing a cycle of energy where there's a lesson attached to it and understanding that's attached to it. And you guys are still going through that lesson. Hmm. Now, when it comes to what I see in terms of what will help you when it comes to your overall journey, I do have the eight of wands in reverse. So this is blocking those people who have been, you know, throwing you off in terms of like giving you mixed signals love wise or throwing you off when it comes to just your focus and your energy. OK, this is also blocking out the negative thoughts and allowing yourself to. Because let me not say block them out because they're going to happen naturally. This is just being able to discern between what's just a negative thought or just something that's like a mental thing than reality. Okay, so this is trying to like shift the narrative almost in a sense. Clarifying that I have the judgment card in reverse. So this is also making sure as well that You're not beating yourself up for decisions that you've made up until this point. Anything you felt led to do, especially when it comes to separating yourself from things, that was necessary. There's no need for you to beat yourself up for it or even feel like you need to renege on that decision. Now, the next card is going to represent what may hinder you during your journey and in, in your path overall. We do have the star card. So this could be a lack of faith, a lack of belief, a lack of focus. Mm. Hmm. Putting your faith in the wrong people or situations or scenarios. 
not listening to your intuition as well. A lot of you are very intuitive, especially with you being Pisces. Duh. You guys are naturally born with the gift of intuition. So if you're not listening to your intuition, then you're essentially not listening to self. You're not listening to spirit as well, especially in moments where you're asking for clarity, spirit's giving it to you, but it may not be the clarity you necessarily want to hear. And then you put yourself in a predicament where it's like, dang, I should have listened to myself. So yeah, there's a need for you to really listen to your inner knowing. Seven of Cups. Also, what may hinder you is personal confusion, not having a clear sense of direction, letting your emotions sway your decision making process or or how you interact with uh, things or how you just go about things in general. This is also other people giving you a level of mixed signals and you kind of feeding into it and hanging on to it. Now, this next card is going to represent the near future in terms of what your journey looks like. With the Ace of Swords, this is personal clarity, which is really, really good. So in the future, this is going to be, for one, personal decisions that are reached, okay? If you were debating or needing clarity or understanding on things, you will have it in the future and you will know exactly what you want to do. Now, whether or not you take action on that is going to be really based on you and who you are. So, um, but I do see understanding or clarity nonetheless that's going to be coming through here. There may even be a conversation that's had between you and someone who's important to you that gives you like the clarity you need on a particular situation. This is not limited to love. This could be you having a conversation with a family member or um, someone who's like an old friend or someone who you need to clear the air with that puts you in a different mental space. And speaking about mental health, a lot of you will be also looking at your mental health and how it's impacting your day to day, which is going to really benefit you as well. You guys are also unapologetically going to be speaking your mind. Um, you guys are going to be speaking up for yourself and also building some proper set of boundaries. So interesting energy. I hope that you took something from this video. If you did, thumbs it up, subscribe, check out the description below if you need a personal and I will see you in the next one. Bye Pisces.